the collab we've been waiting for, Fortnite Lego is here. I wanna give you a beginner's guide or some tips and tricks for starting in the Lego Fortnite. So when you first load into Lego Fortnite, you will spawn in just anywhere on the randomly on the map and you will be accompanied by Bright Bomber or Cuddle Team Leader. It just depends. On all my other ones, it's been Cuddle Team Leader. So you talk to her. She will kind of guide you through the first steps of what to do. The first thing you're gonna wanna do is look around and collect resources. You can collect sticks, there's raspberries. These skinny trees, you can actually smack them and get wood from them. You can find sticks lying around to collect for wood. You can also find granite lying around, so you don't have to hit these big rocks yet. Spiders give you silk. You'll be able to use that later for crafting. In the top left-hand corner, you have a hunger bar, which is the green circle around your character. Underneath it is a temperature gauge. It shows you if you're hot or cold. And the hearts is your health. In order to gain more hunger bars, you need to eat. So you can eat pumpkins raspberries that also helps your health as well so in lego fortnite there's a lot of wildlife you can see here there's a chicken if you pet the chickens they will poop out an egg or they'll give you an egg so every time you pet them for the first time they'll give you an egg so once you've collected enough rocks and sticks you will be able to build a campfire then the next thing you want to do is build a shack There we go, simple shack. One of the next most important things is to build a crafting bench so you can make tools. That makes your life so much easier. Now, I have enough resources to make a crafting bench. Super important. Always build your crafting bench under some kind of shelter because you cannot use the crafting bench in the rain. So if it's raining and you don't have cover over top, you won't be able to use it. It is super important to always have a fire because when it becomes nighttime, it gets cold. And if you get too cold, you will end up dying. Although one way to combat getting cold at night and not having to stand by a fire all night is by making torches. To make a torch, you have to go to your crafting bench. You have to have wood and vines. Then you can put your torches in your hand and that way you won't get cold at night as you're adventuring. The best way to get vines is by hitting bushes. That'll drop vines every time. Now, when you pet chickens, they give you eggs. <laughs> However, if you kill a chicken, it gives you meat and a feather. The meat you can use as food and the feather you can use for crafting later. Chicken almost got away from me. <laughs> now, as in any other survival game, the food and meat that you get is better cooked. You have to make a grill later on to be able to cook the meat, but you can still eat it raw. It just won't give you as much health. So once you have your crafting bench, the next most important thing is to make some tools. So you go into the crafting bench and you can make a forest ax and a pickaxe. The forest ax is used for trees. It'll help you knock down trees way faster and bigger trees. And the pickaxe is used to harvest stone and granite. So the big rocks that you see, you'll be able to use the pickaxe and just craft those. You have to make sure you have enough ingredients and resources. Next, she'll tell you to make a village square. Just decide wherever you want to make your village. And then you can choose colors, icon. Also, it's really important that as you go along, you upgrade your village. These are the different requirements that you needed to upgrade your village. Then the upgrade village is in this tab. And then these are the different rewards you'll get for leveling up your village. As you upgrade your village, you'll get more and more rewards and you'll get more and more blueprints. Now we can make bigger structures. Eventually we'll be able to make fancier structures. Now that you have a village, you'll need to make beds so that you can have villagers come and live in your village. And then you can give them jobs, which is super nice. Ooh, see, we have a new friend. Let's make him a bed. In here, we don't have enough wood. Please wait, sir. Every villager needs a bed to want to stay in your village. New villagers will come to your village. You can talk to them. You can get them to live in your village. Say, yes, I have a bed. And now we have another villager. Okay, if you see a colorful butterfly, follow it because it usually leads you to something good. Oh, great. And it led me to a llama. 
Now if you... When you're in combat, make sure you dodge. That's the best way to escape attacks from enemies. You want to get a sword as fast as you can. I'll explain that how to do that. So, if you die, you can respawn. You'll respawn in your village, and there'll be a little mark on your map where your backpack is. See that pillar of light? That's where your backpack is. So I'm gonna go back and find it. The llama might still be there. Oh, it is. So if you pet the llama, it will drop you stuff, some good stuff. Since we've gathered enough resources, it looks like we can now upgrade our village. Upgrade village. And now you should be able to give your guy a job. You can get your villager to come along with you and they can help you fight enemies as you're exploring. Or you can choose help the village. As your village grows, there'll be more jobs for them to do. In this case, he can collect some resources for us. So as we're exploring and doing our thing, he's going to go out and collect resources and we can come back and collect them from him. Now your tools will run out of health as you use them in the bottom right hand corner there's a little bar under your tools that's how much health they have left so once they're broken you gotta go make some more one of the next most important things to make is a lumber mill a lumber mill is important because you use that to make planks and wooden rods so you can build a sword sword is the best way to fight enemies to make a sword you use the crafting bench you need five wooden rods and you have a sword. Having a sword makes it much easier to defeat enemies. Using a pickaxe is not um, very useful. It's way easier to defeat enemies with a sword. Now, as you get playing and you get collecting things, you're gonna run out of storage in your inventory. There is a way to make chests. In order to make a chest, you need to make six planks on the lumber mill, and then you craft the chest on the crafting table. That way you can keep some resources See, I broke my pickaxe, so now I have to go make a new one. So around the animals, you'll find these little things that look like little poops. They're called fertilizer, and later on, you can use it to build a garden. So if you find poops, pick them up. Now, this is a cave we're going into. They're scattered all over the map. When you come into the cave, you'll see some new resources. You'll see uh, different wood that you haven't seen before. And there's also this stone on the wall. It's marble, and this is not root wood. In order to harvest these new materials, this new wood and the marble, you have to upgrade your crafting bench. So to upgrade your crafting bench, you go into the crafting bench, bench upgrade in the top, and it will tell you exactly what you need to upgrade your bench. Upgrading your bench gives you the ability to make better tools. They're stronger, so they're more durable, but also you're able to harvest different and better materials with them. I guess one of the last tips I would give is always be collecting stuff. Always be collecting wood, granite, because you'll need it as you go. Especially if you're big into building, all the different structures take a lot of resources. So if you have all the resources there, then you won't have a problem. As well as making sure you have a fire with you at night. At night, skeletons do spawn. They come out of the ground. Make sure you have a sword so that you can defeat the skeletons. And they will drop bones. Bones are important because you'll need them later to craft different things. Again, in the beginning, if you're not sure what to do, always talk to Bright Bomber or Cuddle Team Leader. She'll tell you what to do. These are my tips for beginners. If you found this helpful, please hit the like button. Leave a comment. Subscribe, maybe. Oh, also, my favorite thing. If you emote in your village, they will all come dance with you. Have a dance party. Chillax a little.